Ashley Morgan. I'm in P5, and my project is about how liquid changes into gas. I wanted to know how long it would take for the liquid to change into gas, so I predicted that it would take seven days. And I, for my con for my procedures, I poured some warm water into a see-through glass and I poured some food coloring in it. I put it on the wi window seal so that, so that the changes in the weather won't interfere with the experiment. Every day I mark the water level to see so that at the end of the pr at the end, I could count the marks and it would tell me how many days there were. It, my project is what my hypothesis was wrong. I was, it didn't, it took more than seven days for the water to evaporate. My name is Marin Simons and I'm in P5 and I wanted to know what which what type of soil filters water best so i poured three cups of purple kool-aid in sand and it didn't come out very good and as you can see there's some white things at the top that means that means it's not very good but i poured two cups in soil and it came out very good. It came out like a greenish, clearish color. And I poured one cup of purple Kool-Aid in the gravel, and it didn't come out very good. So my hypothesis was, I think that the sand will filter water best. But when I looked, it was really the soil. But I actually thought that the soil would come out green, like brown color. But I can see now that garden soil is very good to use to filter to filter dirty water. My name is Emily Cabral and I'm in P5 and I'm in Purvis Primary School of Excellence. My project is about how to build a flashlight. It was a very fun project because I know it might seem difficult but it's really fun because you're all dealing with circuits and light so if you're ever doing a, another project about circuits it'll help you. What did you use to the materials I used were cardboard, two, a 2.2 volt bulb, plastic covered copper wires, two fasteners, two D sized batteries, two, oh, one paper clip, a small coffee paper cup, a paper towel, cardboard scissors, and a pen. My name is Takari Bailey, and I go to primary, Parvis Primary School. Um, I'm P5. My project is about, um, my project is about how a shadow is formed, and my topic is, I mean, my title is Welcome to the Dark Side, because we're dealing with shadows. Um, my hypothesis was, I think shadows are formed when an opaque object blocks the path of light because light travels in straight lines. The materials I used was a light source, cardboard box, wooden sticks, tissue paper, glue, tape, scissors, and paper puppets. My name is Sky Miners and I am in P6C and I attend Parvis Primary. My project is called Bubbly Bubbly Pop and it is about which soap dishwashing liquid produces the sturdiest bubbles. I had to use a spoon or marshmallow stick, a measuring cup, a timer and a bottle of water and two plastic cups. Hypothesis was wrong because Dawn was the sturdiest, had the sturdiest bubbles and here are my results. Dawn took 2 hours and 53 minutes, and Joy took 2 hours and 16 minutes, so that kind of sums up my um, answer. And right, I found out that the most interesting thing was to me that there were two ways to conduct this experiment. One way was to use um, 
a timer to um, see how much how long it took for the bubbles to last and the other way that you could have used it was to measure the bubbles with a ruler.